pattern 96%, altitude 1.77 feet, speed 0.34 miles per hour, traveled 0.0 inches, heading 275 degrees, signal 80%, recording. Uh, we're testing the uh, alpha antennas and we're pointing them facing downwards. Battery 75%, altitude 224.44 feet, speed 30.29 miles per hour, traveled 3,376.20 feet, heading 274 degrees, signal 34%, recording. Battery is getting low. 47% Battery is getting low 42% We're going to turn it around because the battery is getting low Battery is getting low 37% Battery is getting low, 31%. Battery is getting low, 25%. Battery is getting low, 20%. RC failsafe, guided. Battery is getting low, 14%. Low battery, return home. Dude, battery is critically low, 8% land or start looking for your credit card I noticed the battery drop really rapidly Fine. Battery 5%, altitude 262.96 feet, speed 0.36 miles per hour, traveled 1.36 miles, heading 61 degrees, signal 31%, recording. As you notice the gimbal going down, looking, viewing at the ground, every time I tried to lower it to the throttle, it would control the gimbal. Not connected. Recording active. Dude. Battery is critically low. 3%. Land or start looking for your credit card. Return home. Connected to vehicle. Return home. RC failsafe. Fly. At this time I was getting my vehicle to go to the crash site. Return home.
I thought right there it was crashed. Fly. All of a sudden, it raised up to 100 feet, flying back home. I tried to land it again. It continued to want to return back to its launch location. Not connected. altitude feet almost had it landed disconnected I thought at that time it crashed but it raised itself back up in the altitude to 105 feet battery 0% altitude 105.77 feet speed 21.45 miles per hour traveled 1.72 miles Heading 93 degrees. Signal 19%. Recording. Recording active. Return home. It would not. Connected to let vehicle. Return home. Land Fly. It. So the battery shows zero percent, but the voltage is still 14.36. RC failsafe. Return home. Fly. At this time. I wanted to go ahead and let it fly back to its home location. Return home. And I'll go ahead and manually, remotely land it. I started looking around in the sky, didn't hear the props. Fly. It just uh, didn't see anything. I thought it was a demo recording. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and let it return back home. Turning this solo, uh, looking around, and I had full control over it. Battery zero percent. Altitude one hundred twenty-eight point three eight feet. Speed zero point two nine miles per hour. Traveled one point nine four miles. I attempted it again. Heading three hundred seven degrees. Signal twenty percent. Recording. Return and home. Went back to return home. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and remotely land it at the location where I took off. And on the right hand side there are power lines next to those trees. So I had to make sure that I landed it away from that location. It's descending. I'm going to go ahead and manually locate uh, a perfect spot away from the power lines. And it looks like it's about to land on the road. So I moved it forward. Not connected. At that time I thought it crashed. And there we go. It landed. So I'm going back to the uh, return to home location. And after getting there, I found that Solo was in perfect shape, no damage. It landed perfectly. I think some of the problems that some of the people were having with their batteries going draining quickly uh, with the percentage, it could be that it's holding a memory.
memory of some sort.